Hey gang, Tony here, and welcome back to another thank you yard sale finds video. Today we've got Halloween goodness. I'm talking like Halloween bomb style goodness. And we've also got a bunch of VHS tapes, maybe a couple of little retro things and some surprises. Make sure to stick around after this. Welcome back to the Candy Corn Apocalypse. You know what? Let's start off right off the bat with one of those little surprises I was talking about. I was checking out my YouTube channel right before I started this video and somehow, some way, it snuck up on me. I did not realize I was that close or anywhere near it. We've reached 3,000 subscribers. <gasps> I know it's not crazy. You know, it's not a million subscribers or anything, but for me, pretty exciting. So uh, when I saw that, I thought to myself, we should probably do a giveaway. Uh, I'm just, I haven't given that any more thought than I should do a giveaway. So just stick around, uh, check out my next video where I will almost certainly be announcing exactly what the giveaway is going to be. But, you know, it's going to be something cool, probably mystery box filled with Halloween goodies and horror goodies and VHS and video game and all kinds of good stuff. Figure out the specifics at that point. But make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're coming back because we will be talking about giveaway stuff very soon this week sometime. <laughs> But the real reason that you're here, doing like a lot of stuff with my hands today. Those who subscribe to my channel already have probably noticed that last week I did not have any videos and I didn't even have a yard sale video last week. I figured I'd show off a couple of things from last week just to start us off, just to whet the appetite as it were. Wha, wha, whet. What? One of these things I showed on my Instagram last week, and that is this button that cost me about 50 cents. It is a Happy Pumpkin Day. Happy Pumpkin Day button. But the orange caught my eye. I'm, I'm keyed into orange, orange and black. So if anything orange and black is around me, I'll go, what? What? What's up? Orange, orange and black. And then I got a copy of Tron. It's one of those throwback movies that I feel like work well on VHS. I have a lot more VHS stuff coming up, so stick around if that's why you're here. There are more tapes. Uh, but before I do that, hey, check this out. That's the uh, Candy Corn Cthulhu that I made. Do you like it? They're on sale now in my shop. Go check it out. Was that like too saley? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like try to make you buy stuff. Let's move on. Keep it moving, guys. Keep it moving. Yep. This way. This way. We're going out. Coming in. Coming in. Going out. Let's go. Come on, guys. It was rainy and kind of just nasty today. You know, uh, thunderstorms all day. It was raining since last night. Was not expecting to get anything this weekend. But there was a an enormous, enormous church flea market going on still just jam-packed it and i got some video of that that i'll probably splice in here and there maybe here but it was just like I, there was stuff inside the church and then there were tents everywhere there was a tent for clothes a tent for electronics a tent with box lots of stuff and you know we just went hog wild i'm gonna tell you my truth i'm gonna hog wild and i was surprised to find quite a few uh halloween goodies so without further ado I got this can. It says best witches on it because everyone likes a good pun. Am I right? From the chocolate shop for $3.99. It's probably filled with candy at some point. Now it's just filled with dead bugs. I'll save those for later. There was this area called the bargain area and you know, it was kind of like just take as much shit as you want and they'll kind of quote you a price. Everything I'm about to show you cost me $3. This, I didn't want. But as I, after, after I paid, one of the people working there saw the bag that I was carrying and they said, hey, do you want this? And they threw it at me. And I was like, yeah, yeah I'll take it, okay. This awesome old school, I mean, it's, I don't know, I say old school, I don't know when it's from. It is from Toys R Us. That's cool. 
Toys R Us 99 cent purchase. Really, you know, I took it because I was carrying so much stuff in the bargain area that I ran out of places to put it. Like I ran out of hands. They frown upon you putting stuff in your underwear to hold it. That's my like second choice. Hands, then underwear, then pockets, third. Third for pockets. I got a Winnie the Pooh pumpkin basket. Yeah. A Winnie the Pooh pumpkin basket. I was so excited to find this because it was one of the few like really straight up awesome Halloween things that I found. I mean, there's a couple, but this was a very exciting one. The only, the only non-Halloween thing that I took from the bargain area was this bendy Santa. He just looks really freaky. Like that's the skinniest Santa I've ever seen. What did they, he's anorexic Santa. This poor bastard, he hasn't been getting his ration of cookies and I feel really bad for him. He's like probably about to die. Uh, Frankenstein pumpkin? Uh, Frankenstein pale, I meant to say. It says Smarties. I guess it was filled with Smarties at one point. It says something on the bottom there. I don't know if you guys could be able to see that. But honestly, the, the real reason I bought it was because on the back, there's a message scrawled on it right there. I don't know if you could see that very well. So if you can't see it, it says, Nick, happy Halloween 97. Love, Aunt Bridget. And that just tickled me. I loved that little personalized message on the back. Also, it dates the pail, which is neat. That was the only reason I snagged that guy. Kellogg's cereal. Halloween flashlight in the bag still. But there's like a spider design on here and bats. And um, there's a Tony the Tiger sticker on the switch right there. It doesn't work anymore out of the bag or in the bag. Oh, wait. Oh, it does. It does work. So it does like a design. Oh, it's Tony the Tiger. I don't, again, I doubt you could be able to tell because this is not really, it's going through bags and stuff, but it does a Tony the Tiger face. And then the final thing in the pail here is this haunted house, black house pin. It's for beer or whatever this is, black house vodka maybe. Again, this is gonna be super hard for you to see, but there's a little light right there and it used to be that when you put the pin on there, it would complete the circuit and then that would probably flash. This is so old that of course that doesn't work anymore. The battery is dead. Yeah, it's, it's not working. I just noticed that there's actually a button here that you could press to turn it on and off. Noteworthy here is that like this pail and everything in it, she saw it, I showed her, but she didn't like say, okay, that'll be that. It's, so it's almost like that entire pail was just free. They didn't even like they didn't even price it out for me. And then I found a couple of these old Halloween plasticky sign things. I have some other ones of these from over the years at yard sales. I pick them up when I see them. Some Thanksgiving ones as well. Not my favorite in terms of like vintage decorations, but when it's virtually free, I'll, I'll snag them when I can. And that brings us to the VHS tapes. So again, everything I'm showing you right now came from that one area of the uh, bargain spot for, what did I say? I've spent, it was either three or $4 total. No the Osterman Weekend, directed by Sam Peckinpah uh, on Thorn Emmy Video. I don't know anything about this movie. Ooh, Rutger Hauer is in it. John Hurt, Craig T. Nelson, Don Dennis Hopper, Burt Lancaster. What? Okay, I'm getting more and more excited about this. I mean, Sam Peckinpah was enough. I was getting like, oh, Sam Peckinpah. What are you talking about, Sam Peckinpah? Yeah, dude. But now, like, with that lineup, that's got to be a goodie. What? You want to see the other movies I got? Okay, I'll show you the other movies I got. This is Raw Deal with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've never seen this movie, never heard of it. I mean, I like Arnold, but I'm not a diehard fan where like I would know every single movie he's ever been in. Give it a shot, you know? I mean, these were three for a dollar, the, the video cassettes, so why not? 
I mean, it might be an awful movie, but it looked like a, a cool pickup anyway. Raw deal. Matinee. Yeah. I, I picked up a, a VHS copy of Matinee either last year or the year before, and I didn't check it for mold, and it was covered in mold, so I threw it away. I could have cleaned it. I know Tony, Mr. Tony of the Dead knows how to do that kind of stuff. I don't have the patience for it. So this one looked good. Then I got a copy of The Fear. What are you afraid of? The Fear. <laughs> no, you're afraid of me ever making that face again. That's what you're afraid of. And finally, a pretty neat pickup, I thought. George Romero's Dawn of the De Dead Director's Cut in a clamshell. That's a clamshell right there, my friends, from Anchor Bay. And that is it. That's all the VHS that I scoured. Uh, the last three things are pretty cool as well. These were not from the bargain area. I did purchase them separately at that flea market, but they were 50 cents each. It's a, a Wilton candy kit for pretzels. So basically all it is, is it's those like plastic you know, molds that you could get for lollipops. You get the, the meltable wafers, chocolate wafers and all the different colors, those things. But these are made specifically to fit pretzel rods, which I thought was a very neat idea. I guess those are all the different ones. You could get different color wafers and get all creative with it. I adored the packaging. So I bought it, 50 cents. Got these. They're spikes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lift it high enough. Whoop. Yeah, you put them outside, spike them into the ground. I mean, the rest is self-explanatory. You help the planes land. For 50 cents, you know I was buying these all day long, all day. long and the last of the goodies it's another one of these outdoor you know the spike and uh, booyah i have two others like this i don't have this one this design so this was an awesome find again 50 cents i don't know hoping you could see the whole thing sometimes my favorite parts of these older decorations are like on the back when you see the old kmart sticker on it oh yeah all right my other camera died and there's just no time for uh you know charging batteries i was about to show you like a jacket and a pair of pants that i got for two dollars each but again you guys probably don't care about that stuff so it doesn't matter at all that was everything otherwise so I'm going to let you go now. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoy my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. If you hated my face the whole way through, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. And of course, comment below. Shout out. Tell me what you got this weekend if you got anything cool at the yard sales. Always happy to hear about the other scores. Otherwise, stick around. I'll be doing a 3,000 subscriber giveaway very soon. Breathe deep in the night, my friends. See you soon. Bye.